Many beautiful locations around Canada are perfect for taking in the changing of the season's colors. The west coast of British Columbia and the mountains and fjords of Newfoundland are just two examples of the stunning natural environments that can be found across Canada during the fall season. These landscapes are unparalleled when it comes to the fall foliage that can be found in Canada. Here is the list of five best luxury fall destinations in Canada. Alberta's Rocky Mountains Alberta is home to some of the most breathtaking mountain scenery in all of Canada, and the majestic Rockies are at their most breathtaking during the fall months. Aspen and subalpine larch trees are at their most bright during September and October, which is also the time of year when travelers have a better chance of finding peace after the peak season crowds have left. A fantastic way to get a sense of the surrounding environment is to hike the Banff Legacy Trail, which is 13 miles long, while keeping an eye out for the local flora and fauna. Additional sports are also offered, such as mountain biking, overnight horseback riding expeditions, and supper trains that go through woods filled with bright trees. After the summer rush of tourists has dissipated, it is not difficult to find a secluded spot to see the bright colors of the subalpine larch and the aspens. The golden larch trees that grow in Alberta are known worldwide for the magnificent yellow hue of their foliage in the fall. This region is a popular tourist destination due to the presence of some of the top ski resorts in the Rockies, which can be found in this region. Fortress Mountain Resort, Lake Louise, Marmot Basin, Mount Marquay, Nakiska, and Sunshine Village are among the destinations on this list. The Athabasca, Bow, Crowfoot, Hector, Pedo, Saskatchewan, and Vulture Glaciers are only some other glaciers found on the Columbia, Wapta and Waputic ice fields, which are other popular tourist destinations. There are glacial lakes all around the ice fields parkway and in the valleys that are nearby. The lakes of Bao, Hector, Louise, Malang, Moraine, Pedo, Pyramid, and Vermilion are among the most breathtaking of those in the area. Algonquin Provincial Park, Ontario. The 4,000 750 square miles that make up Algonquin Provincial Area are available for exploration throughout the year. The park is home to forests, rolling hills, lakes, and the occasional solitary moose. When the leaves on the trees change colors towards the end of September or the beginning of October, the landscapes, thousands of rivers and lakes take on an even more breathtaking appearance. The only sounds you'll hear here are the birds singing, the river trickling, and the wind flowing through the trees, making it the ideal location for getting lost in nature. It is one of the most visited provincial parks in both Ontario and the rest of the country because of its size and its proximity to two of the country's most important urban centers, Toronto and Ottawa. The park is circumnavigated by the Trans-Canada Highway to the north, although Highway 60 travels directly through its southernmost section. Within its boundaries are more than 2,400 lakes and 1,200 kilometers of streams and rivers. Kani Lake and the rivers Petawala, Nipissing, Amable Dufond, Madawaska, and Tim are just a few instances of the most noteworthy examples. During the most recent ice age, when the glaciers retreated, these features came into being. Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. The Cabot Trail in Cape Breton is already considered to be one of the most beautiful drives anywhere in the world. Yet when fall arrives, the scenery transforms into something simply spectacular. The path takes travelers along the northern coast, which offers stunning views of the changing colors of autumn foliage. Staying on the coast as you head north will lead you to Highlands National Park which features breathtaking vistas from several different lookout locations around the park. Not only is the landscape stunning, but the people and culture are just as intriguing, with their distinctive Gaelic roots and the soulful strains of the fiddle filling many of the lively pubs. The landscape is breathtaking, and the people and culture are just as captivating. Niagara Parkway, Ontario The Niagara Parkway, formerly known as Niagara Boulevard and historically known as the Niagara Road, is a scenic highway in the Canadian province of Ontario that runs along the Canadian side of the Niagara River from the town of Fort Erie to the city of Niagara-on-the-Lake. Historically, the Niagara Road was known as the Niagara Road. 
An Ontario Scenic Highway designation has been given to the section of the road that lies to the north of Table Rock within the city of Niagara Falls. In the beginning, Niagara Boulevard referred to only the portion of the road that ran from Fort Erie to Chippewa. River Road, sometimes called the historic Niagara Parkway, winds its way along the Niagara River, which serves as a border between the United States of America and Canada. Winston Churchill once described it as the prettiest Sunday afternoon drive in the world. During the fall months, it is comparable to driving through a gallery of Impressionist paintings. The region between the towns of Niagara on the lake and Queenston, at its most beautiful at the beginning of October, is one of the most picturesque areas during this time of year. The shifting colors of gold, orange, and red created by the maple trees that line the river make a beautiful vista, while the grass remains luxuriant and green. You'll find several gorgeous lookout locations along the route to take it all in, including Heights Park in Queenston, which shows an outstanding vista of the river and Lake Ontario. You'll discover several scenic lookout spots to take it all in along the way. Laurentian Mountains, Quebec The Laurentian Mountains are a mountain range that can be found in southern Quebec, Canada. They are located to the north of the Street Lawrence River and the Ottawa River. The Laurentian Mountains reach their highest point of 1,166 meters at Mont Raoul Blanchard, which can be found in the Laurentides Wildlife Reserve to the northeast of Quebec City. This mountain range is the source of several rivers, including the Gatineau, L'Assomption, Lever, Montmorency, and Nord, as well as Street Morris. In each of their four distinct seasons, the Laurentian Mountains of Quebec have something to offer visitors of all ages and interests. This area is known for its spectacularly changing flora in the autumn, from the golden birch trees to the sugar maples, with explosions of orange, yellow, and red that normally reach their height from the end of September to the middle of October. It is a popular destination for people who enjoy being outside because it has a variety of landscape features such as lakes, mountains, and rolling hills. In addition, there are many different dining and shopping options available because of the wide group of people who first arrived in this region, including Amerindians, French, Irish, and Scots. The region's cultural milieu is incredibly rich and varied. The Laurentian Mountains are home to a number of well-known tourist spots including the Tremblant Ski Resort, which is renowned for its undeniable allure, stunning scenery, and five-star skiing. The stunning natural diversity and breathtaking beauty of the Laurentian Mountains never fails to enchant those who come to visit. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel to get more updates.